Okay students, here's part two of lesson 4.3. We just finished deleting a slide, and now we only have five slides here. Okay, they should look a lot like this. All right, so now we're on step number 27, which is called applying transitions. It adds interest when you're advancing from one slide to the next. So over here, these are called thumbnails, slide thumbnails. We're gonna click on the first one, the, the title one, okay? So we're gonna go up and we want to click on the transition button right up here and where it says no transition we're going to change it and select a cube okay select a cube now when when it talks about the slide duration slider so how fast your slides flip if you click on this and hold down with your left mouse key you see how it changes to all these numbers like here's a really slow slide takes five seconds to flip here's a really fast one 0.3 we want 1.5 and you have to slide it along carefully and let it go right at 1.5 here's the most important part you need to click on apply to all slides so it happens to all five slides and if you notice as I'm doing this over here on the left side these little things come up saying that the slides now animated it's telling us that okay all right, step 28 says automatically advance slides. So what we're going to do is we're going to X right here, and we're going to go to present, okay? We're going to go to present. So it shows us this from the beginning. And if I hit the play button right down here, okay, you can watch it flip through. All right, everything looks good here. Yeah, it looks nice here. Here's our rounded rectangles. All right, and there's our video that if we click on it, we could play a video all about Hawaii. Okay, so in order to get out of this screen on the keyboard, on the upper left-hand corner, we hit the escape button. And this project is ready to submit uh, for grading. So good job, everybody.